church outreach that's designed to uh, work with special needs kids. It's designed to give the caregivers, parents or whomever, a break during their week. The goal is just to reflect Christ's love uh, to the parents, to the um, VIPs and the siblings coming in. We were fresh and new and green, but the leadership is so good here and the training is so good that we feel comfortable doing it now. The VIPs are the, the children with the special needs and they have special needs because they're sp special as far as I'm concerned in the Lord's eyes. Brian's really gifted um, with working with the VIPs and I came and to do this ministry so we could do it together. I don't feel especially gifted to do that but there are other things that I can do. If you're, if you're interested in serving in the ministry you can work with the VIP, you can work with a sibling, you can help out in other ways. One time I sat and held an infant for three hours and what's not to love about that? There's something for everyone, for, um, for all ages and, and it's just fun to be serving with middle school age uh, helpers and all the way up to us to grandparent age. And people find their different comfort levels you know, within the program pretty quickly. And then you get at least a little bit of an idea of what the parents are going through raising the kids on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really something, you know, just watching how devoted they are to the kids and how much love there is. You now, if you're serving, if you're helping with a VIP, a lot of times you'll help with the same one each, each month. And you can see the difference in the kids from month to month as far as your understanding of where they're coming from and what their special needs are and what their capabilities are. And it's surprising. I mean, you'd be with you'd be with one of the VIPs for a couple of months during a couple of buddy breaks, and then maybe the third time, if you're with that same one, you'll see or hear something. They'll say something or do something, and you're just like watching them. And it's like, wow, I never thought they could do that. You know. It's hard. Uh, they won't take any more children than we have helpers for on any given day. So it's hard when we have to put them on a waiting list or, or turn them away because we don't have enough helpers that time. So there's always a need. I would say try it. You'd probably like it and you'll probably be coming back. It's very worthwhile.